downtime. We all have it. We all need it. We need time off. We need time to relax, to rejuvenate, to refresh, to reset, to get back to a state of normal. And you need to take it. But you also have things you want to do. So taking downtime doesn't mean just completely turning off the world. In some senses it does, but if you're working on a project, working on building a house, working on building something creative, creating YouTube videos, making posts on the internet about something that you're passionate about, whatever that may be, working on a car, whatever. It should be something that you enjoy because you're probably not getting paid for it, more than likely. And by that definition, it's something that you are passionate about. Most things that you are passionate about, you're not getting paid for, at least not in the beginning. You're doing them because you love to do them. You're constantly thinking about them. They're always on your mind. You're writing about them. You're taking notes. You're researching. You're doing things actively toward the goal that you're trying to achieve, whether that's whatever. Whatever you're building, whatever you're creating, whatever you're doing building a bicycle, taking a road trip, whatever. So downtime, yes, it's time to decompress, it's time to relax, it's time to refocus, recenter. But those nights and weekends, those, those times in between meals, those times in between meetings at work, like, yeah, we all need to get paid. Go get a job and get paid. It may be a job you hate. Okay, whatever. Do it. You gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills. But the rest of the time you have, you should take some of that time to do something that you really, really, really enjoy. Yeah, you can spend 10 hours watching Netflix. You can spend 18 hours watching YouTube. You get 168 hours a week just like everybody else. We all get the same amount of time. You make excuses for your time, whether you want to do something or not. So yes, take time off, but in that time off, find the time to work on something constructive for yourself that you want to see in the world. You're not gonna get paid for it. Not up front, not initially. Nobody's gonna pay you to make YouTube videos. Nobody's gonna pay you to work on their car. Unless you've built trust, you've built, established some kind of rapport. This shit takes time. You have to put in effort. It doesn't come overnight. Overnight success comes after 10 years of grinding. <laughs> These videos? I'm not getting paid anything for these videos. I'm not getting paid for any videos right now. I'm working my ass off. Putting in a lot of hours, a lot of extra hours editing, cutting video, recording, researching, all kinds of things. But I know where it leads. It leads to a polished product or a polished thing that eventually it finds its traction and its audience and it gets turns into a way for me to then create some kind of business out of it maybe but that's not the end goal it's not about the money it's about doing what I care about it's about talking about what I care about it's about being who I want to be you can make money at work. Go to work, get a job, make money. Go to McDonald's, go to Subway, go to wherever. Make the 10, 15, whatever dollars an hour it is. Pay your bills. But the rest of the time you have, take time off. 
but don't just take all the time to sit around and do nothing. Do something. Do anything. <laughs>